Okay, it's early o'clock in the morning, I think 3.30, and I'm heading uh, somewhere new, somewhere uh, called Lancelin, maybe? I don't know. Um, they're apparently white sand dunes. They're about an hour and a half north here of Perth. And it might, might be a bit of a challenge to photograph a location at sunrise that I've never been to and I have no idea about. <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can make this happen. I just arrived at the dunes and I have no idea what I'm doing. I drove past a sign that said like uh, four by four only. This is a four wheel drive uh, that I rented. So that works. But there's like car tracks everywhere. There's footprints everywhere. And I can't tell based on any sort of information where I can park or where I should go. Not the ideal situation to make photos, but I think I'm just gonna park here in the middle of the sand dunes and then uh, walk off and try to find a composition. It does look like there's the potential for an epic sunrise though, so I'm uh, leaving the car, basically just parked in the, in the flats before the dunes, and I'm walking off into the dunes. Oh man, you want to test your uh, composition skills? Come to a place like this, white sand dunes, at sunrise when you've never been to the place before. <laughs> it's such a challenge. There's tons of steps all over the dunes. They've been walked all over and driven all over as well. So this is a mission, an absolute mission. I'm down to about 10 minutes until sunrise. I don't know what I'm doing with my photography right now. Normally when I come to a place like sand dunes, I look for things that are out of place and then I try to use them as my foreground, but there's just so much white sand here that I can't really find anything out of place. There's some like trees and some bush and shrub down in the bottom, but they're like amongst tracks and, and footprints and yeah, it, it's a bit messy anywhere that I find that. So I might resort to, a, to something that I never do because I'm terrible at it and that's trying to photograph some of the details. So uh, what I'm going to do I think is just pull out my camera here along the, the, the ridge of the dunes and use a wide angle lens and use kind of this beautiful pattern that's in the dunes to lead into the sky. So a lot of times with sand dunes you kind of really struggle before the sun comes up just because you have such even light that you don't get any definition. You don't get any contrast but I think it actually must have rained here last night because some of the dunes have like some wet parts to them and uh, they're actually creating some beautiful lines. Uh, I'm kind of still struggling to show any sort of depth or scale just because there is no sunlight so you're not getting any shadows t to help create that. Um, so what I'm kind of doing is I'm just getting low to the sand here and I'm following almost the diagonals rule of composition where I've got this line right along the ridge leading straight up the left side to the right side of my image and then the top of this one dune is the top right third Mark struggling this morning, but um, I, like how beautiful is this place? <laughs> it is absolutely crazy. The sea is right there. Yeah, you know, all these dunes and yeah, just vastness out that way. So beautiful spot to wake up. The sun's coming up and it looks like it might come up right through this gap and if it does, I might get underglow throughout this whole sky. But it's coming up 
a little farther to the left than I expected. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might need to change my whole composition and just shoot the sky here because this this sky looks like it has potential. So it's gonna happen pretty quick. I better race to the camera. The sun's coming up and uh, man, I'm scrambling because the composition just isn't good. It's just not good. There's these beautiful lines, but there's just so much, there's so much of this image that's just average. I think I gotta try to add scale somehow. So I'm gonna try to get myself in the frame. The sun is like hitting my face right now. So hopefully it'll start to contour the dunes a little bit as well in a second. So yeah, last resort, a selfie. Yeah, that's a challenge. You, like I said, if you ever want, whoa, I'm going down the dune. If you ever, well, my shoes are full of sand. If you ever want a challenge in landscape photography, come to a well beaten up set of sand dunes for sunrise when you've never scouted the area at all. That was basically impossible, but I'm gonna walk around and see if I can get something after sunset, sunrise. And I think I've found something simple that's really cool. There's these beautiful lines. Again, it was either windy or potentially got a bit of rain last night. And there's, it's created these beautiful lines in the sand. And it's actually not much to look at. It's almost like the opposite situation is the top. Down here, it's not much to look at. But I think it makes a really good photo with these lines leading up the dunes with the sky in the background. I might even climb up there and, and stand on the, the ledge as well. We'll see if I want to selfie this. But yeah, it's kind of one of those situations that sometimes something simple makes for a better photo than something big and elaborate and really beautiful to the eye. Okay guys, I'm in the future, in a massive mess. <laughs> you don't even want to know, you don't even want to know the type of mess I make in a hotel room. Um, I want to end this video by doing the Nisi giveaway. Remember in the video about Nisi filters, I mentioned I was going to give away a, a filter set to a random person who commented. So I'm going to show you the back end of YouTube. There was over a thousand comments. And if you commented, but you didn't like it, why? Anyways, um, I use a program called TubeBuddy to select a comment, so we're gonna go like this, where is it? Pick a winner. Choose all comments. Maxence Lemoyne, Maxence Lemoyne. I need to invest in a good tripod and some filters. That'd be awesome to start with them. Well, guess what, buddy? You got yourself some filters. I'm gonna leave a comment and hopefully get your address so I can send those to you. Um, today's video was fun. 
to be out shooting, but it, it kind of made me feel like a massive, massive amateur. Locations like that are hard to shoot even when you've scouted them, even when you're a local, and to just pull up there and try to find a photo with that short a time, that was a mission. It definitely made me feel like a massive beginner again, and that's kind of fun sometimes. So um, I hope you liked the episode, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.